Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Hey there, and welcome to a sneak peek of the brand new ClickUp 3.0 UI UX changes. I'll take you on a journey through the most significant updates and features. But if you're itching for a complete deep dive, make sure to join the Paperless Movement membership for an exclusive 30-minute exploration. Or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest ClickUp updates. So without further ado, let's dive into the future of productivity with ClickUp 3.0. Let's go quickly through the things that they added here. And so now they have dedicated sections for the different parts inside ClickUp, and something I really like. So when we go to docs, now I have all the docs, but also all the docs across all the locations in one place. So I'm not sure if it was there before, because before there was just a long list of docs and I never used it. Now they have a proper doc manager that shows me the recent docs, the favorite docs that are also appearing on top here. And then there are docs that were created by me. I can search the docs, so it just brings up the command pane. I can just use command K, but then when I click here, it jumps to the tab here directly. And then we can filter docs and here I can go to the location and then say the location is this space. And in this case, I would be happy if they actually allow me to save this as a view maybe, or as a default view filter, because I don't want to see all the docs from all the locations all the time. And the reason is that only this one we use for the paperless movement. And these are my personal ones. I know it's not maybe the standard approach to have ClickUp set up this way. And you consider just having this workspace only for your business and then have different workspaces for your, maybe your personal work. But as we are not too complex business setup, I rather want to have everything in one place and then well, everything see everything here but that's just how it is so we can have here the shared docs in fact we shared a few docs but it's not appearing because we shared pages maybe that's the reason it's not a whole doc that we share then private docs workspace docs assigned and like archive i really like in general the new navigations then we have the dashboards and in the dashboards i also like the new way and everything looks a lot cleaner, in my opinion. Then we have a new whiteboard section that allows us to see all the whiteboards. Again, here it shows the white box across all the locations. And in this case, I would really appreciate it if it would be possible to filter these by just the location I want to see. And there's no filter yet. Not sure if they will add it in the future. I hope so. And then there's the pulse check that I actually never used before, but now they have it as a separate thing. And you can actually switch this on and off. Okay, so now it's me being online here. And then it shows also the other people and their activities and what they do. But that's something we don't use, so we can remove this. And that's really something I like. Same for the goals, so we could have the goals here. Now I would love if I would be able to move this up and down as well, but I'm fine with this. Okay, so I can have the docs, dashboards, whiteboards, goals, everything as a top view. And then we have the everything section that will show everything across all the spaces. That's something we knew before before, but that's the new way. So now we also have a space manager or a space dashboard. So in here you see all the spaces available and it recommends me to join some spaces. Also something we won't use because we don't just have this one space. It might be useful for other people though. We're done with this quick tour. Tom's got an awesome deep dive video for you in our paperless movement membership. So what are you waiting for? Join us now, watch the deep dive, and let's chat about any questions you've got. Remember, it's all about boosting your productivity, your way.